All right, Pisces, let's do a reading. Today is December 23rd, 2022. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. And by some Palo Santo. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us, all negativity that surrounds us, and all fears that limit us. So it is. Happy holidays, y'all. <laughs> and thank you guys for all the happy holiday wishes back to me and my family as well. I appreciate you guys. Even if I haven't responded, I've been, just been busy. All right, so let's see. Pisces, Pisces, December 23rd, single jumping cards only. <laughs> we'll be taking in this reading spirit. You already know how I roll. So let's see. Let's get six cards, single jumping cards only. What do we got for Pisces? Next 72 hours. The fly, period of ill health or depression. Um, and you are on the road to success. Okay. Let's see. The Pisces. You got the cat coming out, two faced friend. more. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. All right, we got a few cards. Scissors on the bottom of the deck. Disappointment in some affair. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. The horseshoe, good luck, and the gavel, involvement with the law. Good load and Jesus, Pisces. What is going on here? Keep in mind, y'all, don't fret. This could be, you know, anybody in your energy field. This could be something going on around you. Uh, this could be going on with a two-faced friend because you got a two-faced friend showing up in your reading. You need to trust your intuition. Uh, you may need to be resourceful when it comes to any business ideas because um, you are on the road to uh, you are on the road to success, Pisces. There is good luck here. If any of you guys are going through some type of legal matters with the horseshoe coming out right next to it. I feel like, you know, luck is on your side. So let's see. What is this period of ill health or depression, please, for Pisces? Thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to those of you guys who have set up personal readings. I do appreciate you guys. Okay, so let's see. Period of ill health. What is this about for Pisces? Why is it showing up in Pisces reading? Seven of Wands. It's a good way to start. Okay, so. Judgment. Scorpio energy, five of cups, fell face down. I don't know if I'm going to take it, but there could be some type of sadness or regret here. Somebody may be wanting some type of forgiveness as well. This could be someone who is trying to block you or trying to block a reconciliation. Someone here regrets doing something here. This could be maybe someone else is having a period of ill health or depression, or if this is something that you were doing to somebody, you could be going through a period of ill health or depression. Sorry, I thought my earpiece was in. All right, tell me more. Period of ill health or depression. Two cards, single cards only, please, spirit. Either way, I feel like you're standing your ground. You are protected. Judgment is here. Something is coming back around. <clears throat> and the Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What is the Knight of Swords? What is the Knight of Swords, please? There could have been like some harsh words that were exchanged here that caused some type of an ending. You have double Scorpio energy. So I don't know if some of you guys have Scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with the Scorpio. Um, but I feel like you guys are independent, stable, single, self-sufficient, good on your own. There could be a message or an offer coming towards you again with the three cups. I don't know if it has to do with like 
reconciliation. And now when I say reconciliation, this doesn't mean, oh my gosh, an ex from the past is coming back. It could. However, this could also just be like reconciling differences, like a friends, you know, three of cups can be friends. It could be siblings as well. Maybe wanting to come in and give you like a peace offering. <laughs> a peace offering. That's funny. Okay. I don't know. Maybe this person's going through some type of ill health or depression, or this is you. I feel like someone here could have been very harsh, maybe in a, even aggressive. And I feel like you may have stood up to this person as well. Something's coming back around. So whoever was sending out something here or doing something forceful or, you know, someone created some type of abrupt ending as well something ended very quickly for someone i feel like that person you may have stood up to this person and now this person may be wanting your forgiveness for some reason okay you are on the road to success jeez louise the tower Emperor, so Aries, Scorpio energy again. So we're on the road to success. Something here is going to happen suddenly with the Emperor. What is this? Could be dealing with the Aries, a baby father, a baby boss, somebody in some type of, you know, power of authority. There could be a sudden choice that's being made here. I don't know if someone's either getting ghosted too. We got Virgo energy showing up. You are on the road to success. Justice. Wow. So Libra. Um, with the Emperor and the Justice, this could be the authorities as well. This is three majors also. So something here is going to come as a shock. I don't know if this has something to do with something, uh, you know, legal related or dealing with authoritative figures or someone in law enforcement or um either way i feel like something here is being made right and this is going to happen suddenly and it's going to come as a shock okay something's being made right what's up with this two-faced friend hangman in the reverse king of wands in the reverse and five of so Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There could be someone here, King of Wands in the reverse. It's kind of like a coward. Someone who's arrogant. Someone who could sleep around. Someone who abuses their power and their authority. With the Hanging Man reverse, this person isn't enlightened, okay? They refuse to see something from a higher perspective or from a different perspective, period. All right, this person may be going through some type of financial issues. This is someone who's been two-faced in your life. So if you're like... <clears throat> they may have Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces in their chart. Um, or those placements heavily placed. But this is someone who's arrogant. They're egotistical. Um, they abuse their power and their authority. And they refuse to see things from a different perspective. This person is having some type of lack in their life. They could be... Um, this could be job loss. This could be health problems. This could be financial issues. Um... A sense of abandonment, a lot of negative thinking. And yeah, this person may have a negative outlook on life, period. With this hangman in the reverse, king of wands in the reverse, five of pentacles. Damn. Whoever this person is, they're two-faced. You know that, Pisces. Okay, if you're like, hmm, I don't know who's two-faced in my life. Then this isn't your reading because you'll know who this person is. This is obvious energy. This is like energy that you can't, like, you'll know. <laughs> you'll know. They can't hide that shit very well. Okay? Yeah. All right. Show me Fox. I don't know why you need to know that. So whoever I feel like has been two-faced in your life, it, with this cat card too, it always gives me Gemini energy. So me, you know, maybe someone has Gemini in their chart as well. I'm not saying all Geminis are two-faced, but, but, you know, Gemini is a sign of two, or is the sign of two faces. <clears throat> um... Maybe that's what's being made right here. Maybe that's... Huh. 
Your success may be speaking volumes while someone else may be five of pentacles. Some of you guys may be getting some type of sudden success because of some type of two-faced fucking arrogant behavior that someone was displaying to towards you or at you or whatever. Okay. So let's see. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. What is this about, Spirit? What is this about? Why is the fox here in Pisces reading? Six of Wands. All right. Success, victory, public recognition, attention, accolades, getting something online, um, being recognized for whatever it is that you do. Okay. People looking up to you. Three of Pentacles, networking, collaborating, working with others, being a team player. Okay. Shrewdness and resourcefulness. Maybe you guys have been very resourceful, even against opposition, because the fox to me is like opposition. The sneaky, sneaky, sneaky little fox, you know, the little sly one, even with sneaky little sh shysters, you know. <laughs> Speaking of, I've seen a TikTok. I don't even know if it was TikTok. I don't know. Some reel I seen last night. And this fox, like literally, this woman was outside on her phone in her own driveway. And this little tiny baby fox came up and started attacking her. And like she would fling it off her arm and he would run back and grab onto her arm. And like she was like, and finally the husband had to come and like rip the fox off. That fox would not stop. And my daughter's like, Mom, that's sad. She's hitting the fox. I was like, dude, that thing's like attacking her. And like wouldn't let her go. But, you know. <laughs> When I think of a fox, it's like someone that's just like on that ass, like, you know, if you think about it, a lot of fox, the foxes are wild, you know, they have to survive and they are also easy prey. So they could be very, uh, what do you call it? There's a word for it. You guys can drop it in the comments, but, uh, it's like they're a survivalist, right? not the word but <laughs> anyway so there could have been people who were like real sneaky sneaky little foxes and I feel like you may have defeated these people all right you may be feeling exhausted tired bored down but it's like you still fought you still got fighting you Pisces you're still coming out of this victorious keep going don't give up I feel like you're this is going to, whatever you're doing, Pisces, will pay off for you. But I feel like you do probably have opposition here trying to cause you to, like, trying to make you feel like giving up or trying to make you feel defeated. Don't give up. That's what these, that's what these people want. Okay, don't do that. Psychic ability. Trust your intuition. And I don't see you doing that either because you got the Seven of Wands. It's like one of your first cards out. I feel like you did stand up. You know, Seven of Wands talks about protection, standing your ground, standing up for your beliefs as well. Uh, not backing down, and, you know, standing up and fighting. And you're justified in doing it with the judgment card right next to it. This could be something when it comes to your calling to like something like, excuse me, that you're meant to do. Something that you're called to do. You stood up. That's why it's protected. And I feel like you had someone aggressive here trying to cause endings for you. All it did was help you transform with the death card. You may have even had someone speaking. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. I don't like getting into this energy, but I see it. A period of ill health and depression with this Nine of Swords death card. Someone may have even have been speaking death over your name, like wishing you ill, evil eye. Okay. Some of you guys need to wear an evil eye necklace, bracelet, something. Put one over your bed when you go to sleep. All right. But with this, you know, the swords talks about communication. All right. Intellect. Thoughts. The Knight, of, the Knight of Swords is, you know, one of the fastest in the deck. So it's like very quick, almost aggressive communication with that death symbol right there. And then this period of ill health or depression. If any of you guys were feeling ill or depressed or down, this could be, you know, a projection someone's projecting. You need to protect yourself. Okay. All right. Let me go back over here. Where was I? Psychic ability. Trust your intuition. We got the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ace of Pentacles. So there could be like a golden opportunity, a, a large offer, something that may start off small 
in the Page of Cups, you got two pages here surrounding this Ace of Pentacles. There's some type of proposal, an expression, a message that I feel like is, you know, the Page of Cups is like an, an expression of emotion, you know, something that you're going to like or something that um, has to do with your emotions, right? Page of Pentacles is like a tangible offer, something that may start off small but has the potential to turn into something big. A proposal or you know maybe even going back to school or just starting something that you're interested in i don't know trust your intuition here this could even see an m i'm seeing the letter c and m and i also seen a earlier somewhere oh yeah on that knight of swords um Also, if someone's coming towards you with a small offer, maybe even an apology, you need to use your intuition. I don't know. This Ace of Pentacles, though. Could be a proposal, a pay raise, a large opportunity here. Trust your intuition about this, Pisces. I don't know what this really is, but... Show me the gavel, involvement with the law. Five of Wands, all right. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and the Sun. Could be a Aries or a Leo, but again, with the Sun here, uh, the Sun is a yes card. Okay, with the Sun, everything gets illuminated. So if there was someone here causing drama, starting arguments and fights with you, this could be someone who's very passionate or someone who has fire in their chart. Um... Heavy Leo Aries energy. Five of Wands, I think, is Leo as well. Uh, Queen of Wands is Aries. Sun is Leo. So someone has strong fire in their chart. May have been, you know, there could be some conflict, some competition. This could be another feminine energy. But with the Sun here, this is like a yes card. Things will turn out in your favor, I feel like. Hence, is good luck next to it. Or maybe this is someone, you know, that you know, uh, you know, that could be in some hot water. But I, again... <laughs> Or, shit, what is this Five of Wands? What is this Five of Wands? The sun is here, so I feel like whatever this is, involvement with the law, something's going to turn out, or something here is going to be illuminated. Like, something's going to turn out, where did that go? Justice in the Emperor in the Tower. It's like something here is going to go, this is your reading, Pisces, in your favor. I forget, we have Aries up here too. Aries, Aries. So I don't know if this is an Aries or a father figure. Uh... This could be a masculine and a feminine. I don't know. Anyways, uh, Libra, Scorpio too. Leo. Hmm. Something here is going to be illuminated. And it has to do with the arguing, the fighting, the drama, the competition. Again, I said something's going to go. Something is suddenly going to go in your favor. Or it's going to be made right. I said that up here. When it comes to a two-faced friend. So if you had someone over here starting shit, causing drama, it's going to be made right. Show me good luck, whatever that means to you. Show me good luck, please. Didn't like it when I wore high heels, but I do. Six of Cups, good luck. Not of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Six of Cups, so uh, good luck. Six of Swords. So, not of not of Wands. I don't know if this is someone from your past or someone you share children with, but you got two sixes and a nine of Wands here. So it's like either someone's gonna rush in very passionately, someone from your past, but I don't know why that would be good luck, or you're gonna be able to move away from something. Some of you guys may be making an impulsive choice or a decision here to take some type of swift action surrounding something from the past or to do with children and move away to calmer waters. There's good luck surrounding this situation. Um, yeah. Someone here may be even moving very quickly of going across a body of water, going at a distance. Someone may be making an impulsive choice or decision to like 
do something very quickly, I feel like. What is this Knight of Wands? Four of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Someone here feels rejected. Someone feels like they missed an opportunity with the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Pre-Empress energy. Someone who's stable, single, self-sufficient, good on their own. And again, I was seeing this Wheel of Fortune and this uh, Queen of Pentacles here, Ace of Wands. Yeah, someone's, someone's going to try to like... I don't know if someone's trying to like rush in from the past to like have some type of new beginning and that's going to turn out successfully and you guys are going to like forgive one another and ride off into the sunset, sail away to calmer waters. <laughs> what in the fairy tale is this? Okay. Um. <laughs> What in the fairy tale is this? Show me the nine of, nine of wands. The world. What's the six of swords? This could be some of you, eight of pentacles. I don't know, y'all. Maybe some of you guys are going to decide to work on something with someone from the past. Like, just fuck it. <laughs> I don't know. That's the kind of the energy. Or some of you guys are going to like... Someone may be relocating for work and making some type of sudden move with the world card here, like a, a large move. And that's going to be a success. The world card is a success. The horseshoe is good luck. Six of swords, eight of pentacles. Someone may be moving away for work or relocating for work. Someone may even be going somewhere where they grew up as a child. I don't know. What's the Six of Cups? Queen of Cups, Four of Cups. Some of y'all may be rejecting sex. Sorry to be blatant, but, you know, the Knight of Wands is like passionate, impulsive behavior. Some of you guys may be deciding to like reject somebody. Yeah, Empress. I feel like you guys know your worth. You guys could be a mother. Some of you guys, not all of you guys. What's this Knight of Wands doing? Whoa. Knight of Cups. Damn. High Priestess, the Fool, the Lovers. This person is trying to come in and like have some type of new beginning, some type of passionate, coming in very romantic here. What's this High Priestess? I don't know if they're doing this secretly or this is them coming towards you or you intuitively already know. King of Cups. Damn. Ten of Pentacles? Yo, what in the fairy tale is this? Spirit, are you playing tricks on me in the chariot and the two of cups? Pisces, y'all need to use your intuition here. Like, for real. Y'all need to use your intuition. We do have the king and queen of cups out here, a true pair. You guys may even miss an opportunity here for something that could be great that could happen suddenly and turn out very well okay ten of pentacles the lovers the full card the empress nine of cups someone's coming in very romantic very charming very passionately i don't know if you have children with this person or you've known this person from a past lifetime if you don't have children with this person this could be someone you've known from your past or a past lifetime connection okay a soulmate bond a true bond with the lovers the two of cups and the king and queen of cups oh yeah Y'all have some type of soul contract right there. I don't know. That may not be the same person that's over here that's refusing to see something from your perspective. This could be like your soulmate coming in. Good luck. Yeah, something here is going to turn in your favor. I feel like there's someone here who caught, tried to make you feel defeated in some sort, but you stood up to this person that you could have went through some type of period of ill health or depression because of some type of projection here. Someone was trying to get you give up but you're on the road to success you were dealing with someone who was two-faced here i feel like something here is going to be suddenly made right for you 
when dealing with someone who was two-faced, someone who was arrogant, egotistical, who refused to see things from a different perspective, five of pentacles, either you're leaving this person out in the cold, this person left you out in the cold, abandon you, or this is what they are going through currently, okay? There is some type of an opportunity here coming in. It may start off small, but it has the potential to grow. You need to use your intuition about this. I don't know what it is, but Pisces only you know. Drop a comment and let me know in the description box below, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button for your girl. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.